Yo, what is going on, Guardians, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. Hey, in this video, you're going to be seeing just a butt ton of really nice uh, multi kills and kill streaks uh, with the new Pinnacle SMG, the Recluse. Now, I had to eat my words because before the Recluse actually came out, in between when it came out and when they announced it, I was Mr. Negative Nancy. I was like, I am not impressed. I have no interest in this gun. Uh, I told people I was disappointed in, in the dev team. I saw this as a missed opportunity to do something that, you know, that really would draw in the PvP community, something like a sniper rifle or e even a shotgun people would go crazy about. I wouldn't, but I know that the PvP community probably would, you know, and I, I just saw this as a missed opportunity. I got to eat my words. I, I'm in love with this thing. <laughs> I absolutely adore this thing. And um, I've got three main reasons why I believe that this is the best pinnacle weapon to date. This is the best pinnacle whip, uh, weapon that we've had so far. Three reasons. First reason, number one, it doesn't break the game. <laughs> it doesn't break the game. You're, you are not screwed if you don't have it, you know? And unfortunately, um, with Luna and Not Forgotten, I mean, that, that kind of is the case. You know, you you go into comp, and if you have a full team of Lunas and Not Forgottens, and there's people out there who will tell you, I outplay Lunas and Not Forgottens all the time with insert random weapon name, right? And uh, I'm talking about console specifically for the record, guys. That, that's where I spend my time is on console. So uh, when I talk about Luna Not Forgotten, uh, on console, Luna Not Forgotten, they uh, together, they have, uh, as of was it, as of yesterday, they have almost a third of all energy weapon kills are between Luna and Not Forgotten. That is utterly ridiculous. <laughs> utterly ridiculous. But, uh, you know, and there's people who will tell you, I outplay Lunas and Not Forgotten all the time using this weapon. And the truth is, I mean, maybe they do, but the people that they're playing against probably are not of their skill level. When you're playing against someone of your skill level or better, you are at a severe disadvantage if you are not using a Luna or a Not Forgotten. That's just the reality on console right now. Um, no other weapon can do what Luna or Not Forgotten can do. No other weapon can compete with its time to kill. So, um, uh, for that reason, I don't like those guns. Uh, I think that they're terrible pinnacle weapons because of what they do to everything else in the game. But Recluse is not like that. It doesn't break the game. You're not screwed if you don't have it, right? And, um... It has real drawbacks. It's a great gun. We'll get to that later. But it does have real drawbacks. I mean, there is a very defined line where once an opponent is past this range, you have no aim assist. And you have a crazy recoil. Like, this thing just does not behave at that range. You know? And uh, you really do have to get up close and personal. Which means, if you're playing against a shotgun, I mean, you really have to move well in order to get that initial kill. Because it's really nothing special until you get you know, the, the, the perk to prod. So that's the first th uh, reason I think it's one of the best, or not one of the best, I think it is the best pinnacle weapon to date. Reason number one, it doesn't break the game. A uh, Reason number two, it has big play potential. I mean, it has massive play potential. You know, Red Rex's Claymore had this initially uh, back in the old sandbox. You know, no one used it in comp. It was terrible in comp and it still is. But in quick play, oh my gosh, you once or twice a match you would have these moments where you would just make a play that makes you as a player drop your own jaw to the floor you're like oh, i did that really just happen oh my gosh you know and you just you feel that elation you know after a crazy play uh and multi-kill luna not forgotten they don't do that for me uh i don't even when i make a big play with those guns i don't feel like Oh my gosh, my jaw doesn't drop because they're so easy to use. The aim assist is so high and there's no recoil. It's literally the easiest, the, 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 the easiest weapons in the game to use by landslide. They don't give me that feeling. Redrix's Claymore did for me initially back when it dropped and um, in that Warmind season. I loved it. It gave me that feeling where my jaw would drop. And uh, the Recluse is giving me that. Uh, it's giving me that again, you know. You're, you're jumping around. You're doing this oscillation from hip fire to ADS to hip fire to ADS. And... You have to use your cover, your movement, your positioning, uh, you know, all in turn to turn a 1v3 into a clip. And it just, it feels so good. And I guess the bottom line here with, with reason number two, big play potential, reason number two all boils down to this. The gun doesn't make the player shine. The player makes the gun shine, right? The, the gun doesn't make the player. Luna Not Forgotten 
you can be a terrible player, but if you have those things, you're going to shine sometimes. Um, with the recluse, it's not like that. The gun doesn't make the player. The player makes the gun shine. And uh, I think that that's fantastic. It's, it's a tool in your belt, right? The third and final reason that I think this is the best pinnacle weapon to date is that it is aggressive AF. If you don't know what AF stands for, it means as fudge. Aggressive as fudge, right? I mean, you've got a few seconds to rush in and, and slay and take advantage of that perk while it's active. You don't have much time. You just gotta, you gotta hold forward. That is the cadence. The cadence of this thing is all ahead, full blast, full speed, pedal to the floor. It is so aggressive. It's basically, it is, it's waving a middle finger right at the face of the meta. Uh, shotguns and 180s and whatnot. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's a big middle finger to anyone that overly relies on those things. And it's got a bad attitude, and I love that about it. I absolutely love that about it. So, those are the reasons. This is the top three reasons why I think this is the best pinnacle weapon to date. It doesn't break the game. It has massive play potential, and it is aggressive as heck. And so, because of that, it leads to some really dynamic gameplay, some really fun experiences. And uh, I wouldn't recommend you use it in comp at the high levels because you're going to get crapped on. But in quick play, just for just for playing around and having fun, man, it is the perfect tool for that. So I highly recommend getting your hands on it. Let me know what you think about this gun in the comment section. I do read those comments. Uh, thanks again for watching the video, y'all. I hope to catch you in the Crucible.